Hey man, it's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest name on 2K in existence. And look, for NBA 2K25, you can get any animation for any build, regardless of height. Mercy rule coming to 2K25. They're removing quitting in 2K25. Extra man. But before we get into any of that, man, y'all make sure y'all like up the goddamn video. Help me get 300 likes in 24 hours on the vid. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. It helps young Swan grow. And make sure y'all sub up, man. I'm gonna be covering all the best builds, news and jump shots and hilarious content for uh, 2K25, man. And we talk about the builder. So 2K Insider tweets out, should the banning system in NBA 2K24 for quitting games be back in NBA 2K25? Guys, if you think no, go vote on this poll and put no, man. Now for him asking this question, hopefully he's not just looking for clout. And this is something that he's relaying to the devs or he's making a poll for for the devs because he, he is affiliated with 2K somewhat. But here's why it shouldn't come back. Y'all want to know. It does nothing it's just like setting the records it does nothing people are still quitting people are still running it does nothing people will quit when they want to quit so it does nothing do something with their rep or their their overall rank make them make them lose their purple instantly or something like that i i don't know do something of the sort or give them some type of symbol like they're a quitter or something or they didn't fight in games a disconnect rate but, but man you you lag out and you're penalized or it's an error in the game and and you're penalized I'm, i just be getting banned randomly just for switching builds it's corny as hell and then then i gotta be forced to stay in the game as a creator because i'm streaming and i got people trolling me and i can't just quit the game because then i'm gonna get banned but like a normal person will just quit the game they do not care my boy that does nothing you gotta you gotta mark them out you gotta label them so they can get made fun of and shame is one of the greatest motivators but it has to go bro no one likes it I, like genuinely 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 i haven't seen someone stay in games that they didn't want to be a part of so i don't it don't it doesn't do nothing seriously it has to go and the ais are, are too op bro people quitting and then their ais is helping that other team come back no casual can score on the ai it's it's horrible even top players they be playing the ai 1v1 and it's just sweating it just don't make no sense though all because they hate the top one percent of players they're gonna ruin the game for everybody it's ridiculous that's why so many people leave the game maybe throw in a mercy rule that would be a w or fill in other player with a real players like call of duty etc i wonder how that would work this is one of those situations where ignoring the majority is wise see bro power man bro bro i almost agree with him with nothing bro but he says removing it will lead to complaints about constantly quitting it'll just be normal 2k people still quit it does nothing i don't know maybe he's not maybe he don't be playing random wreck so he don't know i, I played with randoms all year he's saying there's no winning here people really hated being banned if you play the game guys don't you always see people quit right if you always see people quit does it really have an effect the only ones it's gonna make not quit is a streamer <laughs> And we don't exist in the in the player base, bro. Oh, he talking about a mercy ruling. Demi agreed. A mercy, don't they have that Madden? Man, I ain't played Madden in a while. I'm gonna be on NCAA live. So y'all, y'all make sure y'all tune it in on the Twitch, man. So maybe a mercy rule's coming to the 2K. That, that'd be a dub, but it could make it to where you can't get crazy, crazy games back in the day. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't really do crazy games. I wonder how, how do y'all feel about it? Now, let, let, let's see these, these leaks about having any animation for any build, regardless of height. Same thing for the James Harden combo move. The James Harden mm -hmm. combo moves allows you to be very aggressive moving north and south. Again, a very, very good one. You can do a lot. And this has to do with play development, right? When you make most of your dribble moves, basically emotes, people are gonna go and find the moves that actually help you get busy. If you can't run out your moves quickly, they're gonna find those moves where you can run out quickly. Therefore, making people play even more of the same than past 2Ks. Past 2Ks, you can run out of so many different moves from so many different angles. So your moves weren't emotes. If you can't run out your move quickly, that makes your dribble move basically a emote, right? That means it's completely useless. It don't matter what it looked like. If you can't run out at any point, you should be in real life. You're limiting the creativity 
skill gap, individuality, and just people playing different. I'm trying to tell you, it the, it's the only way. You have to be able to run out of dribble moves at so many different sequences. The 24, they're so scared of the player base that doesn't exist that they went and did this and you're just ruining the game for casuals. We're going to adapt. We always adapt, right? <laughs> you see people get busy on 24 still. You, you did nothing to us. You just made us hate the game more, but we're still the God. But you ruined the game game for them it's not it a lot of things out of that the Trey Young escape either people are going to have the Trey Young escape or they're going to have Kemba Walker escape so uh -huh. either or they're going to have either or those right and again the reason being same thing for the combo moves most people are going to have Tim Hardaway combo moves some people might try to go Steph Curry but he's kind right. of falling out of favor with more people being more excited about the Tim Hardaway combo move the crossover everybody's using John Wall cross it's the best uh -huh. you could theoretically go with Kobe if you wanted to it's another good push cross but what I'm saying is, is that pretty much everybody He's using the same animation. Jamal Murray is absolutely destructive, especially yep. in the pick and roll. Penny Hardaway spin, everybody's using that. Chris Paul hesitation, everybody's using Chris Paul hesitation. John Wall step back, pretty much everybody's using these if they can get those animations. So a lot of people were saying, hey, you know, I do not want to have a template build because I want to have a superstar. Well, I already talked about how you can still make your player as the game progresses to be able to make your template build to be whatever player you want. Steph Curry, LeBron James, Giannis, and Wimby. The funny thing is I feel like the builder right now limits you. You can't th truly make a Wimby build, but the way I presented it, and if you need to go look at the last video, how you make a template build, every single position has 10 to 15 template builds, which are basically tailored to an NBA player that get a template build that's pretty much similar to Steph Curry at the point guard or Russell Westbrook. And then you got Magic Johnson, you can use Legends, that type of deal. The template build is not gonna be a Magic Johnson off rip. It's not gonna be a Steph Curry off rip. You have to earn your way, earn your badges, and then you will gradually, as you go, be able to get that player to be a Steph Curry when you potentially hit Legend. So there is a route to that. Right now, there is no route to being, getting a Steph Curry, making a Steph Curry build and being a Steph Curry build. There's no route to it. Because Ow. the way the builder is set up, you can be a really good shooter, really good dribbler, but you're not gonna have no type of defense. You're not gonna have no type. That's, that's not true. The builder's broken. Demi, I don't know, bro, you be spamming builds, but you don't know about the builds. You could basically make a Demi. Who's saying you can't make no damn Demi? You can really make a Demi on every position, especially that 6'6". Six, six. What? Bro, you could be a dunk god, shooting god, playmaking god, and a defensive god. Is that not a Demi? Is that not a Demi? That's a pretty OP build. That's a superstar build, right? I don't know. The builder is broken again. I've been, I've been seeing in some of your videos. You're not saying that the builder broke. I don't know. The, the builder is broken. You can do everything on this hook. Type of finishing, and Steph Curry has a decent amount of defense, and he has an extraordinary amount of finishing, right? Same thing for Kyrie Irving. You can't have 99 ball handle, 99 speed of ball, and then expect to have high shooting. It's not going to happen. But with the template build, jumping in me, like, well, I don't want a template build. I want to make my build the way I want to. Let me just say something. First of all, 99% of y'all have absolutely no clue how to make a build. I'm just going to keep it a stack. We can God, go right now, facts. Park, look at player cards, and people are just destroying their builds, right? Facts. So you, you're better off with the. Demi! Oh my God! Bro, how <laughs> damn it, you speaking the facts? Bro, people be like, YouTubers ruin the game. Y'all get these builds and they all just copy paste and everyone's just copying everyone with the same dribble boom, same jump shot, same build. It's not true, bro. It's, it's literally not true and it's never been true ever in any 2K. Literally go into the park, you look at people's builds and you, the meta builds, you see that everyone is lost and egotistical as hell. They don't, they, bro, they, they think they're better than YouTube, bro. They think they understand the game more. You understand? This is why that meta ruining the game and YouTubers, it's not true. You go into the rec lobby, everyone's builds are horrible. Their dribble moves, you play random rec, you see that they're horrible. They don't know how to do nothing, right? And they, they won't even, they can know of, but they won't go do it. The no squad, nobody, you know? That their builds stink. It don't matter how much you see someone, how many views somebody get. Think they're all making that build. How come you never see it? You almost never see it, bro. When I try to play with uh my supporters and I see their build, they're always trash, bro. I'm telling you. People really think they player one. They don't understand. They're player two. They don't understand. Player three, four. They got to get the fake controller. They don't understand. Everybody's builds are horrible. Oh, it's just, again, Jutsu fueled by envy. It's people, you, they want to be that guy, bro. They think that they're better than that person and they want to replace. That's where it really come from. That's not a popular opinion. But there's a reason when people post little clips or videos of saying, be yourself, make your own build, don't copy a YouTuber, it goes viral every time. Every time. There's a reason for that. Three. Think. But then they go and make some shitty build. Every time, bro. Every time. I know there are some YouTubers that be misleading y'all, but some of us, especially me, 
Bro, you're not making no better building. And then you gotta understand, you gotta know all the intricacies of the game to really make your build nice. Most people don't know the intricacies, man. So it's like, you don't even know what's the best type of build to fit your play style. Long enough to get it there, but remember, it's free to play. You do not even have to pay to use these templates. You get on the game and you get to play 2K for free without even having to put a dollar down a VC on your build. So again, I'm not sure where the pushback is coming with templates. You'd literally be able to buy your game and get on the game and play for free. You don't have to put 300,000 VC down. You can pick any of those template builds, just like I said, like Call of Duty, be able to get that new weapon and automatically start using it. But as you play and get better with that weapon, i.e. play and get better with your template build, you'll be able to add attachments on, on Call of Duty where you'll be able to add attributes and animations and that type of deal for your player. So now that gets to what I'm trying to say. In or the reason why 2K right now cannot nerf Kyrie Irving is because people are literally making builds to get to that 90 speed of ball threshold. So what is my solution? My solution is that all animations are attainable no matter what your height is, no matter what your anything. Bro, it's all attainable, what? right? So now when Kyrie <laughs> Yo, he try to make my team. He try to put my team in the park. Somebody stop this thing. Oh man, he trying to put my team in the park, bro. But he's trying to make us have to earn it. Broken, guess what? You can nerf it. And let's say Devin Booker is not strong enough, you can buff it. Now, just like you're doing the weapons and stuff in Call of Duty, and Apex and all that, now you can nerf and buff animations, right? Still Everybody's using Devin Booker layup style because it's so well, guess what? You can buff it. You, I mean, you can nerf it, right? Nobody's really Still using do that now. Russell Westbrook, guess what? You can buff it. You know what I mean? Buff and nerf, right? Let's look at some next moves. Let's say, for instance, like Giannis, like give Giannis a buff, right? You can buff Giannis animation. So now what happens is individuals are going to be able to look and see what animation best suits them instead of just going immediately to the most effective, most overpowered animation. Just like in other games, you want to have a sense of balance, but it's so... <clears throat> To have balance, you gotta have the gameplay developers that understand coding and know how to balance the game. But to try to do the martial law on 2K players, it's kind of crazy. Preset build, preset animations. What happened to the 2K I love? Hopefully this idea doesn't come to the now. That'd, that'd be, that'd be, that'd be horrible. Rinse and repeat right now with animations because everybody's able to do that. I'm not foolish enough to not understand that there's always gonna be a meta. Correct, that is true. But the meta shifts every season in the other games because things are buffed and nerfed. So I feel like <clears throat> it'd be nice if the combo move, Tim Hardy combo move was nerfed. And then all of a sudden, like maybe like five different animations was buffed of combo moves. So nobody ever took a look at oh, Kevin Durant. But all of a sudden now people are like, yo, Kevin Durant kind of crazy, da 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 right? You can now be able to do that. So now you see in the bottom left, it says requirement ball handle. No, that is not all these animations you can be able to get. Now, what pushback would be, and again, you have some idiots that's not gonna watch the video, so they're not gonna see this part. They're gonna be like, well, you're trying to say, um, excuse me, you're trying to say that a seven foot three individual can get Tim Hardaway combo move. First of all, let's just check it out. Let's keep it a stack. Right now, if we were to tell Wimby to do this animation right here, he could do it, right? Wimby uh -oh. could do that. He could do this Tim Hardaway combo, but would it be as effective? So, uh -oh. what, what, what you could do, there's no requirements attached to it, right? But uh -oh. the effectiveness of this- God. there, there's a lot of problems with this, man, to be honest, because people have been able to Anna glitch and jump shot glitch for the past few years from uh, mailing 2K support, deleting they build, and then glitching they jump shots, and 2K does nothing to ban them, and it works every time. People send video proof of people having a jump shot that they shouldn't have, and nothing happens. So if you was to make 2K like this, animation glitch from uh, 2K 18 to 19, I forget when it started and when it somewhat ended, it's, it's cooked. And that, that was a real problem back in the day, man, because them stretch bigs having them animations. This would depend on your height, right? Your height, your weight, all that stuff. Remember, it's a template build, so you're not putting any VC in to make the build. You're just like, if you're on a seven foot three, you can get Tim Hardaway combo move, but it might not be as effective as if it was on a point guard that had a higher ball handle. But remember, you have no, you're not buying, you're just picking random builds anyway and attaching these animations. So it doesn't matter if it's buffed or nerfed because you ain't put no money into it anyway, right? You're not losing any money on Damn this. Me. Now, Damn me, how are they going to make money? Why, why would they even do this? I, I see you keep talking about these template builds. I don't see how they would make money. If they did this template build thing, you would have to buy the template. That would be how they would make their money up front. So I don't, know, I don't know why he keeps saying that template builds would be free and then the game's free to play. I just don't see why 2K would do that. Y'all let me know.
The question will be, well, what if I wanted my seven foot three to be able to have the Tim Hart combo and be effective? And that goes back to, like I said, you gotta put in sweat equity. You gotta, you gotta grind, you gotta grind that. If you wanna have your seven foot three to be able to dribble and sig up and be a demigod. Now again, I'm not the smartest man in the world. There can be, some people can put opinions in the comment section how we can, what is a good system to this. But again, you grind that build out and you eventually will start getting a higher and higher ball handle with that template build that you're grinding on, right? So again, I feel like that is a good course of action. Uh, uh, again, like I said, I, I'm not gonna sit here and make it seem like I'm the so I would love to hear y'all opinions on that and y'all can let me know what will be a course of action that should be taken to do that. But I feel like people will love that way much more to be able to oh, <coughs> go back to like 15 days where you have like seven foot three stretches that I can do everything. But it's just not. Yo, Demi, you did not play 2K15. Stop putting smut on 2K15. There was no seven three stretches. There was no stretch. Stretch big is more OP than that demigod that only 1% of 2K players had that were only in the state. Demigod happened at the end of the game. That does not represent all of 2K15. 2K15 was one of the hardest shooting 2K for majority until patch four because negative 1% simulation cried that the shooting was too hard. Example for the shooting being hard is it used to be hard for the top players, the gods, to get 40 in the red. Think about that. Y'all know now they can get damn near 200 points different but yeah the seven foot small forward nobody figured that out to the end of the game nobody found out the demigods to the end of the game 16 came out people went back and got their clips on 15 and all that but that was not the game you never i bro i and i'm streaming talking crazy in the park i never ran into a demigod once i never ran into a seven foot small forward once i had one build all year my six eight and i was a god the only time I would run into the seven foot and the demigods was in the stage and high roll. And then those demigods, they wasn't even as good as people think they are, bro. Bro, I'm so serious. The demigod was not that crazy. There's been so many builds way better than that demigod. I, I, I promise you. Even with the patch four, all you had to do was be in front of bull. It's done. There was no crabbing in 15, none of that. You can get on and do it. You have to put in work. Maybe <clears throat> you have to hit legend to be able to unlock this was no, You know what I mean? But there was no hall of fame badges there was no takeover it was hard to get ankle breakers you couldn't shoot in the corner hit the three it was very hard to do that so you had to really cook up top and it could pinch you crazy and then your man was standing in the paint holding his so you're limited you have to actually cook and get open in a limited space it was a different era man y'all don't know y'all don't that sound crazy think about it imagine someone that's like that's like you're playing random rack but verse top, you have no space at all. Regardless, the entry to play will be free with all the template builds. You can get on, you can play for free. You can get every single animation. And again, we're not just talking about dribbling animations. We're also talking about pull-ups, right? So right now, as you see right here, you have to be 6, 10, and under to get Pro 2. Now you trying to tell me that these NBA players these days don't know how to do this? Of course they can do that, right? But so all these animations should be free and available to be able to pick no matter who you are, no matter what height you are. You see what I'm saying? And again, you don't pay for your template build. It's free. So again, all of what tech is is that <clears throat> how they gonna make their money, you know, the Demi? You are, the less effective it is. How would they but make their money, Demi? I think like for the pull-up jumpers, and maybe y'all can say in the comment section I want to. I don't like. Come on, bro. Y'all trying to tell me that you gotta be six ten and under to be able to pull up a jump shot like that? Come on, man. Check how would they make their money? They, they can pull up. They can do this. You no know, issues. Any Everybody, everybody plays horse. Everybody can emulate these different type of animations. You don't have to be six foot and under to be able to shoot like that, right? So there, there has to be an animation difference, speed differences, and all that for the balance of the game. To be honest. Again, these are just suggestions. These are just my opinions. But I feel like if the animation was not attached to a height or to an actual attribute. And again, you can grind to be able to make these effective, more effective, and you know, be able to make your demigod build. How would they make their money more? And of course, it will allow you to buff and nerf animation. So we could wake up every. Can someone give me an answer to how would they make their money? Because this is not even possible. I don't even understand why I talk about this. If it's not possible, how would? The game free. You you get your template build at 99 overall instant. How would they make their money? But he he did say in another video that an arm sleeve would be a hundred thousand VC or something. I don't, I don't know, man. Couple weeks, and then people will have to go back into the, the lab and figure out what's another animation because now that push cross ain't as OP. Let's find something else. So now everybody's running around with. Go back again. So not so we don't have everybody running around with Kyrie Irving, Steve Francis, and all these animations. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm at made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome, dome.